This video is an overview video for how I created the custom nautical chart with accompanying bathymetric contours. This video is meant to be used alongside an Instructables tutorial. So for best results, please follow along with that tutorial, which I have linked below. This project has been broken down into four parts. First, create a custom nautical chart, create the accompanying bathymetric contours, customize that chart and contours, and finally cut, engrave, and assemble. And the materials you're going to need for this project are plywood, cast acrylic, and please make sure that's cast acrylic. Normal acrylic just won't cut properly, and some standoff screws. Our first step is to create our own custom nautical chart. I broke down how to create your own custom nautical chart and how to use this web tool in another video, which you can find down below or at the very end of this video. The next step is create your own contours that align with your nautical chart. I use two different websites from NOAA and you can find more information on how to use those websites and how to align them with your custom nautical chart in another video that I made, which has been linked down below. Our third step is to customize our nautical chart and our contours and get them to align. To do this, I use a free program called Inkscape. You can find more details on how I did this in an attached video, which you can find linked below. And finally, it's time to cut, assemble, and engrave your pieces. If you don't have a laser cutter at home, you can use my Instructables to see different local maker spaces or libraries that might offer a laser cutter near you. Once you're done cutting out your pieces, I highly suggest you stack them on top of each other to make sure everything aligns correctly. Once you're done staining and gluing, you can go ahead and put everything together and just admire it for a second before having to drill. Once you're all done drilling, you can just enjoy your piece of art. And for more details, please reference my Instructables and the other videos. Thank you again.